So everyone and welcome back to another year and another episode of Boku no Hero Academia. But before I talk about this impossible spoilers, here's a lot of this promotion right here. So please be sure to check out John Ray for more amazing art. Links are demo link below. We always find links to this reaction video. And before I do actually jump in, a bit fun here, I want to. Because I actually got uh, from my brothers, uh, they went together and actually bought me a printer this Christmas and all of that. Well, that is was. And uh, I printed out of this. Uh, this is actually drawn by Jean Ray, me as an Boken Hero Academia hero. I showcased this way back. And it looks so fucking nice. I love this. It's so cool. And uh, talking about cool superheroes, I'm not one of those, sadly. But one that is, is Miriam. Holy crap, this entire episode. Oh. Fuck. It, 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 it just been ripping on the heartstrings. Oh, entire thing. Seeing Mirio appearing there to save Eri, kicking so much ass. My God. Holy crap. And losing his quirk. I hope it's not permanent. I really hope not. God. But even what is so amazing for me is that even when lost it he didn't hesitate not the slightest he continued to fight he went hand to hand against overhaul that we know have insane reflexes and an ability to literally kill anyone he touches in an instant it's insane and that is like I mean, god damn. Seriously, Miri had more courage than, I don't know, something that is very courageous. Seriously, that is just crazy. I love it. And one thing I love as well is when he's jumping towards, um, jumping towards the area to protect it from the, sh the shot. And he have these just sweet smile like reassuring her that it's it's okay you know i'm here i'm i i will protect you like he sacrificed something in in the in the world in the in the universe of boku no hero academia that is something that is he have cultivated, worked so hard for so long, and something that is seen as an, uh, well, natural thing that should be there pretty much now. His quirk. It's God. It's no wonder people have been. I mean, people love uh, Emilio. Seriously, holy crap! This episode was just fucking bonkers. I love that. It was. Beautiful emotionally and the action and seeing like how God, how he, he has such a major kick ass. And one other thing in the, that I want to bring up while I'm talking about this and something that I probably many just gloss over is the uh, what was his name? I don't remember his name, but the guy that had the quirk confess, you know, confession. I think in a way. I actually like that ability, but also fucking terrifying. Because when you think about it, we all tell white lies, you know. Uh, like someone asks, how do you feel? And even if you feel crap, many times you're like, it's okay. Or how do you, do you think this blue shirt looks good on me? You're like, yeah. And inside you're like, holy crap, that is just no, <laughs> you know. All of these small things. And I don't think it's a bad thing, because obviously we do that because being nice to each other and uh, being s in ways i mean telling the truth can also be a good thing but at times it can also be a curse in many ways and imagine that having this power and getting people to to tell 
exactly what they think. Even things they don't even know about at times. How that must affect it. So it's no surprise to me that this guy is so attached to Shisaki. Shisaka. Shisoki. Is it, was it Shisaki? I don't I already forgot. Overhaul. Let's go with that. Um, it makes sense because if if he uses power on overhaul and overhaul stayed as such intent and all of that, it's no wonder he's like all over to follow him, to be there and do everything for him. Because I can imagine if you have a quirk like that, men very much similar to. Oh, what was his name? Oh, you know the guy that uh, uh, Deco was fighting. Him that can pretty much brainwash. You know, I don't, I don't remember his name. God damn, it was such a long time ago. He's a really cool character. I hope we get to see more of him. But yeah, you know, many were like, oh no, you know, he's. That's some sort of uh, villain power right there. And having that made Ostrich Rise was him. But imagine having this ability as well. This as well, I would see. God damn it, here everyone. Is an ability that many would fear. Though obviously it could be used for great things as well. I mean, imagine like interrogation. Like you don't need uh, anything else than him. He could uh, drag out the truth from any criminal, e either they are innocent or not. You know, it could be used for s and some immensely good things, though sadly not always that these good things and all this. You know, as I said, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man, he knew what he's saying there, and maybe it's something in his past that made him resent society. I mean, mo most of these characters in this group have that. Like, um, those three we've, that fought against Tamaki, like, they followed the uh, overhaul and all of that and this Yakuza simply because uh, it was the only one, the only place where they felt they belonged to because rest of the society throw them out. And like, the slosh guy, I mean... I can see that happening. I mean, I don't think there's any culture or society where we uh, promote and hail drunk, dr dr drunkness, you know, being an alcoholic. It's easy to see that, like, a person like that would be easily thrown out, you know? So in that way, it's, it's most of these characters are actually, in their own ways, kind of sad and all that. And overhaul. Overhaul and Shigaraki, I can only just fathom how things started for them. Imagine, I mean, many people, well, I assume, many, when they quirk manifest, they use them by accident. And imagine, like, Overhaul, like Shigaraki. It's insane what they can cause for damage. It most likely kill people, you know? And uh, obviously with such insane, dangerous powers that people will resent them or fear them. And of course, that is a good way, or good way to lead them down the path of evil. And all of that, so to speak. I think it's just interesting and uh, many really cool characters. And uh, seriously, this episode was bonkers though. Obviously, in the center of this, Mirio and... My God, uh, he's a he's a good boy. But yes, I will be back next Sunday. As I said, ne next Sunday I will be back as normal. Thank you, everyone. See you later on, and have a continue super great day.